A technocrat who left World Bank and retreated to join Maki Western Kenya politics in Vihiga as the second governor of the second smallest county in Kenya after he defeated his predecessor, Moses Akarangu. Dr. Wilbur Force Otichino now says being a governor is not a walk in the park, as many would think. So this mindset of handouts or depending on your leaders, Western Kenya, unless it changes, nothing will happen. You come in your home, it's a huge crowd, and each, each one of them have their own demands. So there is no leadership for purpose. Leadership here is about just our leader will provide. The former Emuhaya member of parliament was elected after the position felt vacant following the election of Kenneth Marende as the Speaker of the National Assembly says pending bills has been a nightmare for him having inherited a total of 1.8 billion shillings of the bills, money that would have been used for development purposes. Otichilo, who survived an impeachment motion by members of the county assemblies in 2018 and early this year, over what they accused him of abuse of office and massive sacking of county staff, among others, says this has been one of the worst moments for him as a governor since he did not have numbers in county. I needed to do my programs. I came up with the CIDP where I wanted to implement my programs from the word go. But the MCS had their own interest. And that time they wanted ward uh, projects. So they, I gave them my budget and they just tore it into pieces and put it into ward projects where they wanted to do their ward project. I was able to maneuver and before um, uh, they could go on the drawing board, COVID came in and it saved them. <laughs> In a county that Kenya Medical Supplies had stopped supplying drugs because of a 75 million shillings debt, Otichilo had this to say concerning the current state of health services in the county. We had a very serious shortage of staff. You find a health facility has only one nurse. I entered into an agreement, first of all with the KEMSA, to be able to supply as drugs. Despite the fact that we owed them over 75 million, I was able to renovate most of the, our health facilities, buy equipment, because quite a number of health facilities didn't have even basic equipment uh, to test even whether somebody has malaria or not. Some of them had been uh, supplied to the Higa, uh, but they had never been used. So we were able to install them and uh, recruit the right people to use them. With the function having been devolved thanks to the 2010 constitution, this would however raise the mortality rates forcing the governor to launch the Otichilo Care to help women in the region attend antenatal and postnatal clinics. Many, many women lost their lives during pregnancy or during giving birth because the majority of them were giving birth in the villages, in the banana plantation. And once you are enrolled in the program, you make sure that they, they make sure that you must go for the four antenatal clinics. Because of most of them are poor, I had to put an incentive. I said that for every antenatal clinic you go, we'll give you one thousand. We'll give the, 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 the mama one thousand. That will take care of her transport. And when she's out after transport, when she comes back, she can buy fruits. She can buy things that she has been taught. Having worked as the Director General for a Regional Center for Resources and as a Doctor of Space Science, Otichilo says he is using his experience to transform his county. I've been able to be, be, uh, build a GIS system or geographical information system, which is an ICT-based system that is of its own kind in this country. And it's an ICT system that is used for decision making and planning at all levels. This is a technology that is now the state of art technology in developed countries. Uh, it is linked up with the satellite technology, whereby data is collected by satellites. The issue of accountability and transparency will be something that will be normal because all the data is available. I was able to negotiate for water program what is called the Vihiga Water Cluster Project that is funded by the government of Belgium through the Ministry of Water. 
it aims to provide water for over 200,000 people. We go in for poultry. People here love chicken. Even if you slaughter them a big bull, but without a chicken, they will say they have not eaten. And now we've started now producing uh, fingerlings and we are giving to farmers. So far now we have 1,200 farmers who are, whose work is doing fish farming. And they are doing very well. We are putting them in our cooperatives. And uh, very soon they will be starting to uh, supply fish. We want to give them, help them put up um, um, a feed factory because it's very expensive. The feeds are very expensive. The residents, however, had this to say regarding Otichilo's governorship. <laughs> And as 2022 first approaches, the governor was reluctant to express his interest in the leadership of Western Kenya, saying the only unity he will support is the unity of purpose. We must have a paradigm shift from electing leaders to solve your personal problems to electing leaders to bring transformation in terms of development. Is, in fact, here there is, a, there is a saying that we shall die with our own. We shall fail. People know that this guy is going to fail. But they say because he's ours, we shall fail with him. Look at other counties. Look at other places. Where are, they, where are these kingpins who are saying are their spokespersons? For Governor's Scorecard, I am Angela Cherol.